Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy strawberry compote. You can use this compote over French toast, pancakes, ice cream, even over some toast. Alright, so let's get started. Here I have a pound of strawberries that have been washed already. I'm going to open these up and I'm going to show you how to cut them. for your compote. You can quarter them just like that. And if you want, you can make them a bit smaller. They're gonna cook down anyway. So that's an option, depending on you. I'll show you one more. And there you have it. So I'll be right back after I get all of these cut up and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so I have all of the strawberries cut up and this is what you want them to look like after they're all cut up. Okay, so here I have four tablespoons of white sugar, one tablespoon of water, and two tablespoons of orange juice. If you're gonna use uh, fresh orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice, that will work best, but if not, and you're going to use uh, store-bought orange juice, make sure it's the one with no pulp. You don't want any pulp floating around in your uh, your compote when it's strawberry. You don't want any orange pieces. Okay, so let's get to making this compote. Okay, so to get started with cooking this, you want to have a medium saucepan on medium heat. Then you just add your strawberries. Let them sweat out a second or two. Get them nice and hot. Just give them a mix. That's good enough. Now to that, you want to add your four tablespoons of sugar. Okay, you're going to give that a mix. Now you're going to be doing this until the, uh, the sugar gets melted. and you no longer see any sugar crystals in your pan or on the strawberries. Now you wanna add your one tablespoon of water. Now you're gonna to continue to let this sugar melt. See how it's developing the juices? You see that? That's what you want to see. That means the sugar is melting and the strawberries are releasing their liquids to create this sauce. You just want to cook these until they're like soft and mushy. And along the way, you can give them like a little mash to help them with the breaking process. So you're going to let this go for about 15 minutes, like I said, until they're soft and mushy. So this is what it looks like three minutes into its cooking process. We still have a ways to go, but you see all of the liquid that 
is developing, that's what you want to see. And this smells wonderful. I'd eat it just like this. <laughs> but yeah, you still want to give it a little mash here and there. And I'll be back when it thickens up a little bit more. Okay, guys, this is what it should look like 10 minutes into its cooking process. See, this is what you're looking for. It's almost done here. But if your compote is a little liquidy when, it's, uh, when it reaches 15 minutes, you can cook it for an additional five minutes to make sure that all of the runny liquid is out. And there you have it, 10 minutes into its cooking process. And guys, don't forget to uh, comment in the section below and let me know if you guys are enjoying my videos and if you like them. And also, don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back when it's 15 minutes time. Okay, guys, so here's what it's looking like 15 minutes into its cooking time. As you can see, a lot of the liquid that we had earlier has reduced, and this is what you want. You want it to be this thick, not runny, because if you add it to anything, it's just going to drip down and it won't look as pretty. But to test to make sure that your compote is completely ready, what you want to do is drag your spatula down, and if you don't see any runny liquids on the side, you know you executed it. And now what you want to do is add your orange juice two tablespoons of orange juice and just mix that in trust me it's going going to thicken back up so don't worry about the extra liquid that I added in that's going to work out just fine okay so you want this mixed in thoroughly see that now you have a perfect compote. There you go. Now you want to turn your uh, stove off and let this cool completely before you package this up. It's best to keep it in a mason jar, anything glass, and it will preserve you know a bit longer as opposed to putting it in something plastic. But you work with what you have, and this should last you for a couple of weeks. So guys, there you have it, your strawberry compote, quick and easy. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.